Hi again, folks. Here we go again with uh, another part to my Sims 2 Let's Play thing. Um, okay, I'm not sure what's going on here. Things are a little, little jerky. I think it could be because. I've just started recording, and uh, yeah, there we go. It, it kind of smooths itself out after a, a little while. I'm not sure if there was a setting that I needed to uh, to change. Anyway, here's my man, and he's uh, got Callista with him. Uh, shall we start with a bit of woo? Because uh, they pretty much like at full everything. I mean, he could probably probably propose to her, and she would like accept. I reckon. Uh, so before it gets too late, I mean, it's now after twelve. So uh, gotta kind of be careful about the time of. Uh, Of, of night that it is. Um, oh, that's right, that's the mirror. Um, but what I need to do is right, wait for him to get on the bed. Oh, she's going upstairs. Okay. And it looks like she's going to say goodnight. Oh, hold on. Oh no, I, I just remembered, as strange as it may seem, that uh, I asked her to stay the night. Oh, of course. So, I, mean, I can't do anything. Well, <laughs> I could shoot or ask her to leave, which obviously I don't want to do. So, uh, yeah. I'm going to creep up behind and spoon you. It's <laughs> not creepy at all, is it? No. Uh, so, anyway. Um, yeah. I had completely forgotten that. Uh, I asked her to spend the night. So, there was me thinking, oh God, what you come upstairs for? Um, right. Uh, while they get up to some kind of weird, whatever it is they sort of do in bed, which is a bit strange. Let me just change some settings. Uh, so anyway, uh, looks like he's almost ready to wake up. And oh, and it goes to the ah uh, uh, thing that they do, and that's a that's a, a new thing. I didn't. Uh, I've never saw that before in uh, my old Sims Two stuff. Which I've got I've got the discs somewhere. I'll have to find them out and see which ones uh, that I have all together. Um, but yeah, the, this uh, action was probably an addition in um, apartment life or something. Because uh, from what I can tell, uh, apartment life added a lot 
of stuff. Um, I mean, obviously, I've got there's like all the stuff packs and and everything. So uh, yeah. So there we go. It looks like. Um, Looks like they're pretty much uh, ready for anything in there. So it propels or oh, engagement. Move in. Dun, dun, dun. Um, I mean, uh, because of uh, our relationship status, as in, like, you know, how much we. Uh, ah, cuddle under clouds. Then, yeah, I could pretty much, you yeah, know, say to do anything, really. Not that I would want to. I mean, that's a bit cruel, I think. I'm not one of the cruel Sims players, you know, who, uh... Excuse me, dear. Out of my way. I need to, uh... Evacuate the urine from my bladder, if you don't mind. <laughs> or it looks like he's doing uh, something else. What I've noticed when he sits down on the uh, on the lid, um, I, I mean it's all blurred out anyway. But why doesn't he do the action of wiping his bum? Because uh, I mean, it's not as if they like sit down to pee, you know what I mean, so, uh, yeah, well, okay, well, he's going to have a bath, let's uh, get downstairs, and, ah, she's just standing there, ah, right, she's going to have a go on the, uh, the old Joanna, Oh, that's what I wanted to do, is a, a brief update. Oh, that was quick. Oh, name that tune in one. Uh, <laughs> that was what I was going to do, is give a quick update of the house. I can't remember how much I showed last time. Change the kitchen. I think I showed that. Um, actually, you know, you, were, you stayed the night. You can use the kitchen as well, you know. You don't have to wait for me to cook. Yeah, I can see you're hungry, dear, but, you know. How bloody cack some cack. <laughs> cack something. Have, now. I need to serve breakfast because... She doesn't want to cook. Omelette du fromage! So, anyway. Uh, yeah! Uh, you may have no, no, not noticed or remember from before uh, I had the little telescope. Well, Sonny, the blonde girl that I was dating, really liked her dates. And so, uh, look, the, the night before in the game, uh, she came and did one of her passing visits. Normally, uh, she just leaves one of these, like a little bunch of flowers, uh, with a card. But that, that's a genie lamp. I'm not doing the other two wishes because they always come with consequences and my guy's got the constant platinum thing anyway, so yeah. It's not a cheat, just uh, <laughs> the only cheat I've used is the, uh, what was it, to stop the aging. Right. Ooh, gained enthusiasm. He can now serve cheese platters. <sighs> cheese. Mm. So anyway, yeah, she normally use those floats. Uh, this time, in some kind of extreme generosity, um, she gave me this, this telescope. Now, when I say extreme generosity, 
This costs just over 2,000 simoleons. It's not exactly cheap. So, uh, yeah. It's <laughs> not exactly... Uh, it? Oh, what's this? Bon appetit, MG. Your interest in cuisine is admirable, and I would like to heartily extend an invitation to Sue's Secret Kitchen, a place sure to whet your appetite. Right, okay. Oh, oh, hello. Uh, oh, didn't know you were actually visiting. Okay. <laughs> I thought you had just, like, popped up for... Uh, so, yeah, that was a, a rather nice gift. Uh, I mean, I needed the telescope anyway to build up my logic skill. And uh, so, yeah, that was rather nice. Now, I'm not sure uh, if you get these kind of rewards or presents or whatever in The Sims 4, because obviously I don't have it, and uh, I haven't seen anybody else uh, sort of go through the dating thing yet, so admittedly I've probably only watched about four videos, two of those with the gaming lemons, so uh, <laughs> yeah, not exactly uh, watched a mass amount of Sims 4 videos, because the thing is, the the ones that I have watched don't really seem to be able to control the camera, such as like you know, up, down, or the, the left, right, and zooming in and and all this stuff. It, they always seem to be a bit uh, like all over the place. You know what I mean? So uh, that kind of puts me off. But then, with the game in Lemon, he's made it into a bit of a kind of story. Uh, well, not story, but a kind of, I don't know, comedy. <laughs> and, uh, well, it's funny stuff, basically. It's not the kind of thing... I mean, I, I, was, I did think of doing something like that myself, but... Uh, I thought, no, I just want to do a kind of let's play type thing, which is what you were seeing. And so, uh, yeah. But, anyway, um, th th this is probably getting a bit boring now, because they're just sitting around eating omelettes, and, oh, actually, while they're eating omelettes, uh, let me, uh, Show you something else. Now we've same old roof. That's uh, that hasn't changed. But what you may know, may have noticed a little earlier. Uh, I've got a new door compared to last time, and the windows to match. Because I thought, well, hmm, to make it kind of a bit more matching and not quite as, uh, as contrasting. Plus, I don't think there was uh, a matching windows to the door that I had before. So, I chose this door and I noticed that these windows were the, from the same like, manufacturer or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> Just the same thing. You know, basically they match. So yeah, I uh, I change those. They're, they're pretty much the same. But oh, I've got the day off today. Okay. Um. So as you can see, I've got the the two there. Uh, I've got the two at the side. But what you need to remember is that is a different room to that one at the front there. Uh, that's the front part of the kitchen. That's the side of the kitchen. And I've just turned completely the wrong way. Um, uh, there's a the car, as you've seen before. And here are the windows at the back. Uh, as you can see, the, 
was sitting there, probably watching TV or something. Uh, the alarm appears to be going off. But yeah, but there's the bedroom. Uh, that single window, that is actually a matching window to these double windows and the, the door as well. So, yeah, it, you know, it all matches. It's, uh, oh, you can actually hear the alarm going over um, So, oh. Let's see, if we get a little closer, will we? Now? Not going to show us the alarm clock for some reason, and she seems to be sitting on the invisible, on the invisible sofa, watching the invisible TV. So uh, yeah, <laughs> but there you go. There's uh, the new house. Now another thing which was changed from last time. I was sick of people. Oh, you got to get more to eat. But, uh, I was sick of people just walking in, picking up my paper and reading it. Yeah, you know, I was thinking, what the hell? So, oh, oh, actually, they look like the paper boys left it there. Oh crap! I think, yeah, I need to unlock that because uh, <laughs> otherwise uh, she won't be able to get out. Uh, that's a good thing, you can lock, oh, oh, disallow pets, completely forgot about that because it's a new door, I needed to, uh, to reset that, um, oh, actually, lock, oh, no, that's all, that's okay, that's already, uh, that's already locked, because animals kept coming in, and digging holes in the garden. So I kind of sorted that by building this fence, even though it meant putting the car down there on like a, a drive away from the uh, from there sort of thing, you know. But then, ah. Uh, Perhaps we <laughs> stupid camera, uh, camera angle thing. Another thing is this. Well, the seems even my seam would walk down the stairs. Oh, forget about the path. Oh no, you can't walk down the path. They would walk over that light and around, and then through the gate. And I'd be thinking, boy. Why do you do that? Uh, it, it, it just did not make sense. So, I was thinking, right, how can I stop them doing that? And basically what I've done is, as you can see, uh, put a fence either side so they have got no choice now as they walk down the steps to walk down the path and out the gate. The lights still work. They still light up uh, the path as they should, but I have managed to stop them from walking elsewhere instead of uh, where I want them to. So, but anyway, uh, that's a bit of a catch up for you, new stuff and reasons. <laughs> um, now, well, this is kind of a bit of a boring day. I mean, it's a day off. What I would normally do on a day off is go somewhere. Um, she's with me. So, and I'd completely forgotten that I had asked her to, uh, to stay the night. <laughs> Because it's been a couple of days since I've played this. Uh, and I had forgotten where I'd left off. So. For now, I'll, I'll just leave this there. Uh, I'll just leave this as a, as a catch-up 
episode, I guess you could say. And uh, if, if you've watched this, so well, I thank you very much, and uh, I shall see you next time. Bye.